Well, we got a big doozy of a game coming up on Sunday at noon at U.S. Bank Stadium, right? The Minnesota Vikings against the Detroit Lions. It's the game so far this year for the NFC North. They got two great teams, 5-0 and and 5-1. and It's going to be a barn burner. So let's just take a look. I mean, how do you predict who's going to win this one, right? I mean, I'm a Viking fan, so of course I'm going to pick the Vikings. You know, Darnold is playing uh, actually really good. Serviceable is what some people would say, but he's making good decisions. And then our line is okay. Uh, offensive line is okay, but Ed Ingram is kind of a weakness. And guess what? Dalton Reisner's back. I'm a fan of Dalton Reisner. So what I'm reading, what I'm hearing is Ingram is on a short leash, leash this Sunday. So could we see Reisner replacing Ingram? Could we see kind of a rotating in type of deal? Anyways, the key is going to be these offensive and defensive lines in a game like this. We all know that. So we got Darnold. Uh, it sounds like Aaron Darnold, or sorry, it sounds like Aaron Jones could play. And we really need him because we saw what happened last game when he was out uh, injured. And the truth is, play it. it seems like Kevin O'Connell is more creative in his play calling when Aaron Jones is in there because he gives you such versatility, such a weapon. Send him on a screen, send him on a pass. Run him up the middle, run him off tackle, run him around the end. And the other, you know, he is one of the best backs in the league. I, I said it before, I'll say it again. He was one of the coups of free agency for the Vikings in the offseason. And he's, he's showing his worth. But I noticed that when Jones was out and Ty Chandler was in, I mean, Ty Chandler's good. Uh, don't, don't get me wrong. He's, he's, uh, he's a playmaker, too. But O'Connell went to kind of what he did last year, year before, these 15, 20-yard passes consistently to Justin Jefferson and uh, uh, Addison. Um, and the other team defended it and stopped the run. I didn't see a lot of creativity in our offense after Jones got hurt. So I'm hoping Jones is in. O'Connell will go back to his more modern self and be more creative in his play calling because that's what it's going to take to beat those Lions. So, so we got Justin Jefferson, Jordan Addison. Um, you know, Brandon Powell has been stepping to the plate. Uh, it doesn't sound like TJ Hawkinson is going to be in, so we got to rely on Jenny Munt, Johnny Munt, and uh, Josh Oliver. But, again, O'Connell, if he really mixes it up, he'll use Munt and he'll use Oliver. So uh, the Lions don't have Aiden Hutchison. And can you name anyone else on their front defensive line? No. They have a good one, but they're not household names like, like Aiden Hutchison. And it's sad to see him get hurt. I, I would much rather him be playing in the game. Um, you know, then they got Jack Campbell sitting over there in defense. They really upgrade the cornerbacks, as you know. Carlton Davis, Taron Arnold, they got Branch. Um, so it's going to be uh, our offensive creativity and our fortitude against this stuff, stubborn defense of the Lions. Shifting gears, we have Blake Cashman out. So Gruger Hill will have to take over. He did good um, when Ivan Pace was out. So I don't think we're losing a lot, but you know you want to have Blake Cashman in there. But yeah, Flores is going to have his hands full because look at Jeriff Golf Reclamation Project has been tearing it up. He's got Amon Ross St. Brown. He's got Jamison Williamson. He's got Jameer Gibbs. He's got David Montgomery. And then they got one of the best offensive lines in the league. Ragno, Glasno, uh, uh, Decker. I remember they got Sam Laporta sitting on that tight end. So it's a formidable offense. And Flores is going to have to be equally creative. And we're going to have to dig in. I don't think we're going to get away with I've really come out sizzling a super duper first half and then fizzle in the second. We got to play 60 minutes of consistent, solid, t tough as nails football. There's no way around it. So I'm going to make a prediction on the score here. Um, I'm a Viking fan, so of course we're going to win, but it's going to be down to the wire with or without Aaron Jones because the Lions are that good. You saw what they did to Dallas last week, decimated them. Anyways, will Skipper make a catch this week? We'll see. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Thirty-one twenty-nine Vikings. Gonna come down to 
something last second. Could be our field goal kicker kicks a field goal or defense makes a goal line stand. I don't know. But this is one of those games that's really hard to predict because you got two high-powered offenses, one defense that uh, has confused the other teams a lot, including Aaron Rodgers. So Flores hopefully can maybe confuse the Lions, but don't think they're trying to not study our defense, trying to figure out clues on how to beat it. And, you know, the Lions have a solid defense, and golly gee, they got a great offense. So anyways, we'll see you this Sunday at noon.